You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We have an expert on the topic of dental implants, Dr. Rod Strickland. Dr. Strickland, welcome to the program. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. So for people that don't know your practice, I mean, who's the typical dental implant patient? Well, Randy, there are two types of patients generally who come and see us. The first type are those who have teeth. Now these are people who have teeth that are going bad. They've been, been going bad for a long time. Uh, they hide their teeth, they have infection, they have, you know, I mean, imagine these people. They have gone their whole life going to the dentist. It's kind of surprising because a lot of these people, you would think they've neglected their teeth over the years. Yeah. But in reality, they've gone to the dentist. They've had root canals, they've had crowns, they've had cavities, they've had cracked teeth, they've had fillings, they've had you know, teeth extracted, they've had abscesses, and they just are getting sick and tired of having their old teeth. So that's one group of people. So they come to you because they don't want a traditional denture. That's right. That's, that's what they go. You know, they are holding on to the scraggly old teeth that they have all because right. of their fear of dentures, you know, they're really okay. afraid of going to that because dentures have a, a stigma associated with them. And so they would rather deal with an unhealthy, uh, uh, quite honestly, an ugly, unhealthy smile than to go down the path of a denture. Okay. okay. The other group of patients are those who have dentures. They have dentures, they're unhappy with the dentures, they may be unhappy with the way they look, they may be unhappy with the way they're able to chew or how well they fit. So they're looking for an upgrade, they're looking for something to improve. Now is this true that people literally, I mean if everything works out right, they could, on, on the day of the actual procedure, right, they can walk in with no teeth and walk out with teeth. That's exactly is that right. right. Yes. Is that true? Yes, yes, that's exactly right. You know, uh, back in the olden days, uh, you know, patients would have to have the implants placed uh, and then they would have to heal for a period of time. And during that time, they would be wearing a denture. Well, that's what they're trying to avoid is wearing the denture. And now with the technologies that we have now, we can actually go in and we can, if they have teeth, we can pull their teeth, we can place their implants, and we can give them bolted down permanent teeth that same day. Is that right? Yes. And that's a common thing you do every absolutely. week in your practice? E every week, absolutely. Now when you say the olden days, they did it that way. We've also talked on the phone. You said that's how it's being done today. That's the way a lot of people still do it. That's where, right. Where they may spread it out over a year they to may get this implant process that's done. That's right. They may spread it out over a year, or they may do it uh, with multiple people involved. You know, one of the things okay. that I think is pretty fantastic about our office is I do everything. Are there a lot of people, like in Savannah, that have like an upper lower denture? I mean, is it a big problem? Yeah, th there are people all over the world, quite honestly, but it's specifically in the Savannah area, in Georgia, in South Carolina, you know, there's got to be a millions of people that are walking around missing their teeth, either in dentures, complete dentures, or missing a lot of their teeth, or just with teeth that are so bad they really should be missing them. Well, if implants are so good, why aren't they all coming in and doing it? Like, especially the denture wearers. Why don't they come in well, and get teeth that are locked in? You know, that, What's your take? Again, that's a great question. I think with, with people who are already in dentures, you see, think about it. When they got their dentures, they're pretty much done with the dentist. You know, okay, they don't have point. to come back really forever. When they do come back, it's when their dentures are not fitting well or when they're hurting. So they're coming in for just a quick fix. And depending on who they go to, they may not know what their options are. They may be going in, getting their reline done, and then leaving again. And so for, for denture patients, a lot of them, they don't know. They don't know. They okay. don't know that All there's right. an option. You know, another thing is they, um, they, they, they may have been told in the past that they don't have enough bone. I can't tell you how many patients have come into my office who uh, are there to get a new set of dentures, you know, because we don't just do dentures and, or, I'm sorry, we don't just do the permanent teeth on implants in our office. We, we offer other levels. Uh, we'll make, I invented a process and I teach it to uh, hundreds of dentists uh, all across the world actually uh, over the years of how to make beautiful dentures. They're called the Fountain of Youth dentures. Okay. And um, so we can make Fountain of Youth dentures. We can make those Fountain of Youth dentures that snap in or lock in to implants, or we can make them permanent. Uh, like teeth that don't come out. Like teeth that don't Isn't come that out. Isn't that what everybody wants, though? That's ultimately what everyone wants, absolutely. So anyway, there's these people who okay. come in and uh, they are sort of self-diagnosing themselves. They think that they don't have enough bone. They've been yeah, told. But isn't it true? I mean, if you've been wearing a denture like 20 years, 
You don't have enough bone to do this. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. Okay. Uh, you know, in fact, I don't know that I've ever had a patient that we couldn't do something on because there are procedures now, there's technology for building bone, for growing bone, and putting implants in. So I do get a lot of patients, however, that think they don't have enough bone. Or they because they were told elsewhere. Because they were told that elsewhere. Uh, I have a lot of people who think they're too old. And why would a 100-year-old want to do this? It's quite simple, right? At that age. They want to eat just like you and I eat. They okay, want to chew fair. their food just like you and I do. You know, I had a lady come in. She, her, I think her two sons brought her in. They were in their mid-70s. She was in her late 90s. And she came in wanting implants. Actually, they brought her in. She was in a nursing home. She couldn't eat anything. You know, it's a shame when you have to go to the dinner table with a blender so that you can blend your food up and drink your food if you can't chew the food. So her two sons brought her in and they wanted her to have the implants. So what we did for her is we gave her a brand new set of teeth that lock into implants on the upper and lower. She was able to chew whatever she wanted. In fact, they locked in so well, she had to come back to the office with her caregiver on two different occasions so I could show the caregiver how to get them out to clean because she couldn't take them out herself. It was wonderful. She lived another three, four, five years after that, I believe, her sons came nice. back. It was the best years of her life. You know, no one wants to end their life having to worry about what they can chew or having to worry about what they can eat. People love, you know, when you get older, your life revolves around social uh, networking and going Especially out to 80s, dinner. 80s, 90s. Absolutely. And so, you know, imagine going to a restaurant and only being able to order what you know you can chew successfully. Do they tell you these kind of things on your consults? I hear it every day, every day. People talking about the embarrassment of, of eating uh, at, a, at a restaurant and getting food stuck underneath their denture and then having to excuse themselves, go to the restroom to be able to clean it out. And then when they're in the restroom, it's embarrassing having to take your teeth out if there are other people in the restroom and, and, and washing your, your dentures out. So those days are behind us now. Those days are behind them. So you brought some photos. What are we looking at? I sure did. Let me show you this first one right here, Randy. This lady is came into our office and she was unhappy with the way her teeth looked. She was unhappy the way her smile looked. She was unhappy with what she could chew. You know, if you look at her Is she smile, wearing a denture right there? Is that what's going yes, on? Yes, she's wearing upper and lower dentures right there. You can't see her upper teeth. I'm gonna show yeah. you here in a little bit the after and it's gonna blow you away. <laughs> okay. So just pay attention here, okay? okay. I right. want you to look at what she's wearing. I want you to look at her hairdo. All right. I want you to look at her smile in general. I want you to take and make an opinion on how old you think she is, okay? okay? Because when you see the after picture, it's going to change. You're not even going to think it's the same person. With just teeth. With just teeth. All we did on this lady was give her a new set of teeth. Now what she got were the teeth that snap in, they lock in, and so she can eat whatever she wants, and the smile is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at that after. Okay, so here's the after. Wow. Okay, so now okay. let me tell you, when she walked into the <laughs> office the very first time, so we weren't expecting this total makeover, but she felt so much better about herself. You know, before she felt like she was an older person. She was an old lady. She looks much older on that before she photo. She does look much older. And she came in with this new hairstyle. So you didn't recognize her? I didn't recognize her. My, the, the girls in my office, they came in and said, you are not gonna recognize <laughs> her when she walks in. She looks like a completely different lady. And I thought they were exaggerating. And then I walked in the room and quite honestly, she looked so beautiful and so natural. You know, I had to go back to the old picture to remember what she looked like before. I was totally blown away, totally in shock. So if you look at her now, she's got her smile is showing, her teeth are showing. You know, you can look at the details that we put in there. Now this is not- She almost know, looks like she could be the caregiver of her mother. She like, does. Like, like it looks, looks like, like a, looks like a mother and a daughter. Yes, yes. Absolutely does. You know, the smile, the way the teeth are designed are so important. And it's not just the way the teeth are designed. When you're dealing with people who have lost teeth, they've lost their bone, their bone shrinks away, the lower third of their face, it makes you look older. And so part of what I designed in this Fountain of Youth Denture process was learning how to rebuild the lower third of the face with the teeth and with the bone and with the uh, ma materials of the, of the dentures and um, the, uh, the, the teeth below. So I want you to take a look at the after and, okay. and, and, and pay particular attention to the teeth, okay? Now this was not by accident. You know, normally, you tell me, Randy, uh, you're, you're probably pretty good at this. Does that look like 
False teeth. No. You know, you, you see, I'm probably good. I told you off camera, I said, I could spot a fake teeth or dent or walking down the street. I'm good at it. But yeah, this looks real. It looks, I'm not it trying looks, to side with you on this. That's right. It looks incredibly real. And it's not by accident. So the gums and the... The gums, the, the, the teeth, shape like of the, the teeth. The pointy canines, I mean, all that right. is by design. Right. It's all by design. And, and again, it's more than just what you can see. It's what's below that. It's the shape of the gums below that. You know, uh, the, the, the teeth that we make, we're not just focused on the teeth themselves. We're focused on the gum part, the pink part of the teeth, because that's what fills out the lips, fills out the face, fills out the cheeks, reduces wrinkles. So again, looking at the smile, notice how the teeth, the contour, follows the contour of the lower lip. That's all by design. That's what we do on every patient. And this happens quickly. It happens very quickly. Uh, typically, it's a couple of visits from start to finish, and they have their brand new smile. So they go in the morning and they walk out late afternoon with new teeth. With new teeth, that's right. Is there, now you have more photos, what else? Sure do, sure do. So this is a lady right here who came in. She had uh, teeth like we were talking before. She had teeth that uh, were old, they were infected, they were loose, she, they were broken, she had cavities, and she was ready to be done with her teeth. You know, we're seeing that more and more today with people, particularly these baby boomer generation. In the past, it was patch and fix, patch and fix, patch and fix, and a, and a person would go through a lifetime of dental visits just patching and fixing, and they're never really you know, thrilled with their smile. More and more people today are deciding to, if their teeth are in rough shape, they're deciding to have them all removed and have permanent teeth on implants replaced. If you can't save those teeth. If you can't save those teeth, okay. that's correct. Okay. okay, so what we did for her is she came in, we gave her light sedation, we removed her old broken down teeth, and we put in permanent new teeth that don't come out. All in one day, all in one visit. This is nice. It's very nice. And look at the results. She's thrilled. She's happy. She has a beautiful smile. She has her confidence back. She has her health back. So they can eat whatever they want. They can eat or whatever they want. Or do they have to want. take it easy? No, they can eat whatever they want. As a matter of fact, like I mean, crunchy things, like a, like raw broccoli or whatever. Absolutely, they can eat whatever they want, Randy. Crunchy things, carrots, broccoli, apples, corn on the cob. In fact, there's this one story of a of a, of a man. I'll never forget this. I always call my patients when I'm uh, driving home in the evening. And so this this particular case, this was a man that had come in in the morning, we'd pulled all of his upper teeth, again, bad teeth, we uh, put the implants in, gave him his permanent teeth all that morning. So I called him that evening, and it's very loud in the background, and yeah. it sounds almost like a party's going on, <laughs> you know, and I'm asking him, well, I asked him, where are you, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm at the local barbecue joint having dinner. And I thought, in my mind, I'm thinking, my goodness, here this, this man this morning went through this surgery, and now he's obviously not having any discomfort, any pain, he's at a barbecue joint eating dinner. And, and I was just, I was just phenomenal. I mean, do you tell him, hey, take it easy though? That first day, right? I or always no? tell him to take it easy, but you know, these people, if they're not having any real discomfort, they go on with their, their own routine. Uh, people ask if they can go back to work the next day. They absolutely can go back really? to work the next day. In fact, most people tell me that they have no pain the next day. Most people tell me- I mean, there me, is discomfort though. Yes. I mean, we have to mention, yes, right? Yes, I'm sure they're having some discomfort. Uh, rarely do they need to take anything stronger than an ibuprofen or a Tylenol oh, good. the next day. Good. Yes. So what do they like the most? Do they like the way it looks or that they could eat better food? You know, every person is different. Some people, it's the way they look. Some people, you know, their focus is completely on this cosmetics. So we're, we're through with the procedure, and then they find out they can eat food that they never could eat before. You know, some people, I've heard people say Oreos, you know, they could eat <laughs> Oreos, potato chips, nuts, you know. It's not always the things that you think like steak, corn on the cob, apples. It's sometimes it's little bitty things yeah. like that. So it may start out as cosmetic and then they realize they can eat whatever they want. But the reverse is also true. There's a lot of people, particularly men, men generally, they say, I don't care what they look like. You know, I want them to look nice, of course, but I want to be able to chew. I want to be able to eat. And so, of course, we give them something that still looks beautiful and they can eat whatever they want, but then all of a sudden they have a great smile. You'll notice how their smile changes. You'll notice how maybe before it was a grimace. As a matter of fact, there's a patient right here. Okay, okay. I can show you this patient right here. If you look at his before smile, it's more of a grimace. 
you know it's a it's it's not really a smile and his after picture there he, he's learning how to smile he's got nice teeth now and I will guarantee you yeah. if I would have taken that picture a month two three later that he would have a natural smile it wouldn't be such a grimace so after maybe his first compliment his second compliment that's right that's they right. start smiling more they start smiling they take selfies on Facebook you told me that's right they irritating they all, all the their time. friends like another photo of this guy that's right matter of fact with the men today and my my, my team they kill me this because they, they kill me about this because I always say that uh, you know when we have these men that we know we're going to give them a dynamite smile I always will stop and I'll say to uh, to my uh, assistant I'll say hey listen when we give them the new smile you need to make sure and give them a stick along with it <laughs> and, they, and they say and they know the joke they say well what's the stick for I say because they're gonna need a stick to beat away all the women that are gonna be chasing them down the road from now on so yeah so they start out with function but they end up with a beautiful smile in the end we're gonna take a quick break but first what about those people with bad gums like gum disease can they do this? Randy, those are the primary people that we're looking to help. You know, they're, they're walking around with infection. That infection is going throughout their bloodstream. It's very unhealthy. It's very unhealthy to the heart. Okay. And, and people who have their teeth with infected gums always have enough bone for this. I've never had a patient ever who had their teeth, even with gum infection, that I couldn't immediately take the teeth out and place implants. So in. the infection, what, goes away? The you infection clean it up? Yes, we absolutely. Of course, we take the teeth out, clean up the infection. Most times can place the implants the same day and give them their teeth. Brand new set of teeth. And you said you did this on a 99-year-old. So 80s is, 80 is young. 80s is young. That's In right. Your, we're going to take a quick break. We come back more about the process, what they could expect on day one, and the options people have from the snap out to the cosmetic denture to permanent teeth that don't come out. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. No one knows I have dentures. They talk about the fact that my teeth don't go straight across. I use dental implants so that dentures can snap in, they'll be solid and secure, they won't accidentally fall out, and people can eat pretty much whatever they want. Other people actually ask me if I'd had plastic surgery or something done to my face to make me look younger. Our trademark process is the true fountain of youth for denture wearers. Offering sedation for total comfort and general dentistry for total care. You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Hours. Today's topic, we're talking about dental implants, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. And according to my guest, Dr. Strickland, he says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. Uh, Dr. Strickland, welcome back. Thank you. Um, so when, when people come in, what, what's, because a lot of them, they see you on TV, they do Google search. When they come in, what are the frequently asked questions? Like what are they afraid of? Patients, uh, you know, uh, there's some big ones. A lot of times they're afraid of the, the that it may be painful. I think we already discussed that. Yeah. It's really not painful. Because you have sedation. We have sedation. Right. You know, they won't remember anything. So hardly anything. I mean, they, they remember hardly anything. That's right. That's right. Hardly okay. anything. Um, you know, some people are afraid of the cost. You know, back in the day, uh, we would put one implant for every tooth. Well, we find now with technology, you don't have to do that anymore. You just need a few implants and you can put a full arch of teeth on. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So it's much more affordable. Uh, we do offer financing options for patients Because we as well. should mention, I mean, Medicare, Medicaid does not cover this procedure. That's right. Even the best dental insurance only covers a very small portion. That's correct. But people are financing this. People finance well, you have it. okay credit, right? Because you're not carrying right. it yourself. That's right. That's right. You have to have decent credit for sure. And, um, but just like financing a car, you know, only, I always joke with my patients, this is going to last a lot longer than the <laughs> car that you would be purchasing. So, uh, so, some people it's the fear of the, of pain. Some people it's the fear of the cost. Uh, some people, again, they don't know what their options are, so they just don't get it done. Or they think they're too old. Or they think they're too old, that's right. And so uh, even though they've watched you for years, you say people come in and they say, are you sure? I'm it, paraphrasing they, slightly. Yes, they will come in and they're still skeptical. You know, they'll come in and they'll say, you know, listen, you know, doc, I've, I've been watching you for years on TV and I've seen all your patients and all the befores and the afters and all the things that they say on TV. But, you know, I'm sure I'm probably the worst one that you've ever had. I doubt you can help me. You know, and I get that on a weekly basis. It's funny how people they think they're the worst. They think they're the worst, and you know, so far uh, I've never had the worst because they never see these bad smiles, right? People don't people smile when they have bad teeth. That's right. People hide their smile. You know, B people are walking around all over the place with really bad teeth. They're not smiling, but you may not perceive that's really what it is. You know, you're thinking that maybe they're just angry. You know, they're they're quiet. They don't show emotion. 
and it's really what they're doing. It's sad, quite. You know, that they're 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 holding their smile back. They're holding you their emotions. You can spot these people in. as a dentist. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and uh, the the cool thing is when you give them the new smile and you see how it opens up their life. You see how their spouse or their children will say what a different person they are. You know, you'll see how they come in and they talk about the great foods that they can eat. The, you know, the the fears that are gone. They're different people. It's 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 amazing. You know, this lady right here. I've got all right, a, all right. a, a lady right here. I want to show you. So her options are: she can have a new set of dentures. Uh, she can have a new set of teeth that actually snap or lock in. Okay. Or she can have the permanent teeth. So those are her three options. Uh, and in her case, again, I just want you to imagine what she looks like right now. She's older, she's wrinkled, she's got those thin lips. Okay, now take a look at the after, okay? <laughs> what a difference. So, Those look good. So this lady tells me in her, uh, after she's done, that someone came up to her in church. Now she's been going to this church for probably you know decades at this point. Someone comes up to her church saying, do you know where so-and-so is, her name? Yeah didn't even recognize it was her. This is someone she knew, one of her friends. And she says, you know, that lady doesn't go to church here anymore. This is the new one right here. <laughs> so they look different. They act different. You know, they're, they're, they go from introverts to extroverts. And it's all because the power of a smile. We're going to take a quick break uh, and more. And I know you have more photos. We'll try to get to as many of those as possible. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. Anybody who sits down to eat and then you have your loved one next to you and they can't eat and you watch them struggle through that. That's a, that is a big deal. I want to look good, I want to be able to eat good, and I want to feel good. And then once I seen him to be able to chew his food, it's a big deal, and it made a big difference in his smile, his attitude. It changed his whole life. I couldn't even eat before, but that steak that I had after this process was amazing. You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. Uh, we're talking about dental implants today, a brand new set of teeth in just one day. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Strickland. Okay, so if somebody is, is, has really bad teeth and they've been told your only option is a denture, those are people that would be ideal for you to get new that's teeth right. with you. you know, or the people that are currently wearing dentures. That's right. They could get teeth that don't come in and out. That's right. And, and who's, is it challenging to get these denture wearers in? because they've adapted and they don't go to the dentist anymore. We talked briefly about it earlier. It really is. Um, you know, denture wares are, are, no one is really ever truly happy with a denture. They may tell you they're happy with a denture, but until they've experienced what life is like with something solid, then they really aren't truly happy. I have so many patients, we may start, they may come in with a denture uh, and we, we place implants on them so that they can snap or lock the dentures in. We'll give them a new smile yeah. that, that snaps in and locks in. So then a year or two later, they want to upgrade again. So we transition the snap-in teeth to the permanent teeth, adding a few more implants, and now they have the ultimate. They're permanent teeth, they look like real teeth. Do they say, I should have done this years ago? Oh, they wish, of course, they wish that they, that was the first thing like, that they did. Like, did they say, did. Doc, why didn't you talk me into this? <laughs> well, no one has ever said <laughs> Earlier. that. Yeah, no one ever, I think they want to say that, but maybe they're afraid. My dad, you know, I told you about my father, he has a brand new, he was a dentuer, yes. has a brand new set of teeth, and he blamed it on me. He said, Randy, how come you didn't talk me into this yeah, earlier? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I tell people, you know, because, I mean, we make a fantastic, the Fountain of Youth denture is a fantastic denture. It fits well, it's beautiful, and I can't tell you how many times people will come in on their yearly visit, we'll check up on them, and they'll say, you know what, no, everything's fine, I love it, I can eat whatever I want, I love it. And I always tell them, well, hey, right now, you love it, but as you lose bone, because you know every person, every denture wearer will lose bone over time, and that denture will not fit as well two years, four years, right? five okay. years, later on down the road. Because their gums are shrinking. Because their gums are shrinking, that's right. Interesting. And so the dentures get loose, they go in for reline, and they do that year after year after year. Over the years, eventually, they lose a lot of bone, the denture's very unstable. That's typically when they come in and see me, when they've gone through years and years and years. Well, at that point, it could be a lot more effort put into uh, uh, so you want to get them earlier? I want to get them earlier when they have the bone, okay. then it's easy, the surgery is easy, the results are phenomenal, and they don't lose 20 years of their life, you know, messing around with a floating denture. 
Okay, good. Time for a couple more photos. Okay, all right. So this is a lady that I don't came mean to in. rush you, but we've got about a minute. No, that's left. okay. This lady came in. She had some old dentures that were, she was unhappy with them. Uh, she had gone through several uh, dentists and trying to get a decent set of dentures. She couldn't uh, eat with them. She couldn't smile. You know, they showed way too much gums. Uh, she has uh, some medical conditions that prohibited us from placing implants in, so we decided just to give her a beautiful set of Fountain of Youth dentures, and you can see the results. You know, nice. This, the smile is there. Uh, she actually brought us a picture, her high school graduation picture, with had a beautiful smile, and she wanted us to mimic that smile. And she was so impressed, and her husband was <laughs> so impressed that how well we were able to customize her smile. That is exactly what her smile looked like when she was 18 years old. Looks good. All right, so this guy right here, he's a local preacher. He had the same options. He had a new denture, snap-in, or uh, uh, permanent. He decided to go with the snap-ins. We gave him a new smile. Look at how beautiful the smile is compared to his old smile. He it looks, looks younger. Natural. He looks, looks good. vibrant. He's a good-looking guy. This lady right here, she came in with her uh, old teeth. Again, rotten, infected teeth, couldn't be saved. We went with the permanent teeth on her. She had the same options, dentures, So she walks in without teeth and walks out with a brand new upper and lower teeth. She walks in with her old teeth the way they were. She walks out with no infection and permanent teeth on the implants. And just to clarify this, I mean, they may have a couple of appointments, a few appointments prior to the day of the actual surgery. Yes, there will surgery. be a consultation, there will be examination, there'll be things like that. But when it comes to having the appointment where we're numbing them, sedating them, it happens one time. Okay, real quick here, I just got right. a couple more. This is a lady came in, again, uh, uh, bad teeth, infected teeth. There was no way she was gonna have floating dentures. So we were able to give her a new smile that snaps in, it locks in. And again, look at the after, look at how the Looks teeth good. follow the curvature of the lower lip, okay? All right, this lady right here. I love this case right here. She had old dentures. They, she had this typical, what we call reverse smile on her before picture, where the front teeth are too short. Look at the after. The, again, the teeth follow the curvature of the smile. So what we did for her is give her a brand new set of upper and lower teeth that snap in. Again, look at the difference. She thinks she's 50 now instead of <laughs> 75 or 80, what she thought she was before. Okay, one more. Okay, this guy right here, he came in. He has teeth on the top. They were in rough shape. We were able to fix those and save those, but on the lower, we gave them the permanent teeth. They were not savable. So again, we fixed the upper. We were able to save them and put porcelain uh, crowns on the top, and then on the bottom, the permanent teeth that are uh, permanently uh, locked into the implants. Okay, good. So we're out of time. Final message, wow. somebody watching this, they're in the, the two categories. Their teeth are really bad and they're probably gonna end up with a full mouth of extractions and in traditional dentures. The other group is the denture wear. And they've heard what you had to say. Maybe they've seen you on TV a little bit before. Um, but for whatever reason, they're still skeptical. What's their first move? What do you First recommend? move is give us a call. You know, okay. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you on the phone. We'll have a nice conversation on the phone and then have you come in for a consultation. Uh, we do consultations. They're going to meet with you? They're going to meet with me and with my new patient coordinator, Jenny. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Thanks a lot. Good stuff. Thank and you. all these photos, you can find them on your website. That's right. You can come to our website. It's called thedurhamsmile.com. Okay, good. Thanks again. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.